What's up, everybody? It's Mover, uh, C.W. Lemoyne, author of the Spectre series and the Alex Shepard series. Uh, if you're looking for something to read during the quarantine, please check out a book. It does help support the channel. Uh, today, we're talking about UFOs, and I've gotten quite a few requests to review the recent, re recently released uh, Department of Defense footage, and people are even asking if I've had any close encounters or if I've seen anything or... Uh, if I fought the aliens uh, a la Independence Day. And so, no clickbait here. I don't know anything about UFOs. I've never seen one. I've never experienced one. I have seen things that I have not been able to identify. They most likely were airplanes because that's the whole definition of unidentified flying object. object. It's just something you don't know what it is. But, you know, I've seen b balloons. And I'm like, oh, that's a weather balloon, which are pretty cool. They fly really high. But personally, haven't seen anything, don't know anything about uh, UFOs or aliens or anything like that. But we will break down the FLIR footage. But first, I would like to read uh, the statement the Department of Defense released when they released the footage. And then we'll talk about the individual uh, FLIR tapes themselves uh, separately. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Three, two, one, fight off. <laughs> All right, so on April 27, 2020, the U.S. Department of Defense statement by the Department of Defense on the release of historical Navy videos. They say, the Department of Defense has authorized the release of three unclassified Navy videos, one taken in November of 2004 and the other two in January of 2015, which have been circulating in the public domain after unauthorized releases in 2007 and 2017. U.S. Navy previously acknowledged that these videos circulating in public domain were indeed Navy videos. After a thorough review, the department has determined that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems and does not impinge on any subsequent investigations of military airspace incursions by unidentified aerial phenomena. DOD is releasing the videos in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos. Aerial phenomena observed in the videos remain characterized as unidentified. Release videos can be found at the Naval Air Systems uh, Command Freedom of Information Act reading room, the documents, and that is where these three videos come from. Let us take a look. So basically what happened, he wasn't supposed to release the videos, and that's because uh, FLIR footage, typically uh, the systems can be classified depending on what's on them, and that's not because of UFOs or anything like that. It's just because... We have weapon systems. Weapon systems are classified. I mean, that's just the way it is. You can't, uh, you know, you can't film certain targeting systems. You can't film certain things. So uh, it was not an un not an authorized release for them to do that, um, and he probably shouldn't have. But uh, after going back, they looked at the footage and said, "Yep, nothing on here is classified. There's no targeting. There's no weapons information. There's no other things that may be." Uh, our adversaries can get. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and release this. Um, they have established the Unidentified uh, Aerial Phenomena um, Reporting Program, but that's kind of not part of this specific thing. These are just videos of stuff that they didn't know what it was. So, here we go. Um, in no particular order, we're going to go through the three videos. So, this is the first one. It's called Go Fast. So something's moving rather quickly. He's trying to get a track on it, which is really good for him. Yeah. All right, here's video number two. A little blurry. This must be the older one. Yeah, this is the 2003 one. And 
and here's the last one. Must not be any audio on this one. Yeah, no audio. Which I'm sure you've all seen these before, but I wanted to let them play before we break them down. Dude, this is a fucking dry bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots from the west. Look at that thing, dude. That's not our LNS though, is it? It's not. It is our LNS, dude. Well, if there's like a thing, it's rotating. Okay, so there's your uh, there's your videos. We'll go to the first one and start out. I'll mute mute it. Uh, well, I'll just keep the volume down. All right. So what we're looking at is a Hornet uh, targeting pod AT FLIR. So uh, things that are important to look at. Uh, IR means it's infrared, so it's not a camera per se. It's uh, electro optical in TV mode is like looking through a camera. This is IR. There's one where it d does go to TV. Uh, he's in the narrow field of view. This tells you where the pod's looking relative to the aircraft. So uh, 36 degrees to the left. So 36 degrees off, off to the left side there. And, and realize that the pod is on the left side as well. So he's got a clear, unobstructed view. On the F-16, the pod's on the right. On the F-18, uh, pod's over here on the left. Um, this is their altitude. They're flying around at 25,000 feet. And they're looking 22 degrees nose down. Uh, and they're in black hot. So uh, white hot versus black hot. In white hot, hot images are white. In black hot, the, the, the hotter images show up as black. So anything cooler is going to be a lighter color. Anything really hot is going to be a darker color. So right here, it's moving. They're looking over here, and it's kind of moving across. And he's really doing a good job of, of trying to track the thing because I, I tell you, it's not easy because you're slewing the pod around. I think he had a Wizzo doing this. Uh, I don't think uh, the guy in the front was doing it, but I think he had a Wizzo that was working the pod and, and doing a really good job uh, of, of trying to maneuver that. So, so he, he gets a track, which is, I mean... For something that looks like it's moving fairly quickly, um, that's pretty good. So what you see here, um, he is. It looks like it's right above the water. 4.3 miles is the range, so it's four and a, half, a little over four miles from them, based on what the computer is ranging. Now I don't think he he's lazing it, so uh, it's just basically doing you know trig to figure out what the what the math is and 210 knots v sub c so it's it's got a closure rate toward them of 210 knots so it's even though it's it's over here it the angle it's it's moving fast enough that it's actually closing toward them so it's going really fast if the system is calculating it correctly and again 44 degrees off to the left so 45 degree angle <laughs> and dude's excited i mean he just i mean that's really good pod work to to do that what I don't know is how they found it in the first place. I mean, what they were using to target it, but. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Wizzo. Alright, so what's really weird. Uh, if he's in black hot, I mean, he's tracking this. It's actually fairly cool. It's cooler than the water around it. So that's interesting. Um, you would not expect that. But it's very small, and it's only three miles away. So it's something that's not very big. Now, three miles away in narrow field of view should be something. I mean, if, if whatever it is, it's not a large object that he's tracking. 
uh, which, I mean, it could be uh, some, I mean, it could be anything. It could be a missile. It could be um, a drone, probably a drone, possibly a drone. I mean, all right, on this one, um, this one's kind of potatoey. Uh, I think this is the 2003 one because you can tell it's an eight millimeter tape that's been recorded. Um, so he's looking five degrees up. He's in IR mode. He's in a white hot, as you can see there. So that's a, a hot heat source. And he's basically looking straight ahead, four degrees off to the right. So uh, pretty much straight ahead. And he's flying straight and level at 20,000 feet. So this thing appears to be uh, flying away from him. There is no ranging source. There you go, he tries to zoom in, and it's just a blob. So he goes to uh, TV mode, which TV mode is electro-optical. It's an EO mode. It's, it's basically a, a black and white image. So all he's seeing is a black speck because it's so far out there. I mean, he's looking five degrees up at um, so 20,000 feet, so it's a little bit above him, and you'll see here in a second, he'll try to get some ranging off of it, and 99.9 .9 doesn't mean that it's 100 miles away, it just means that it, it, it can't, it has no confidence in how far away it is, so it, it's not giving you any valid ranging information. 99.9 .9 is, is just, it's like saying infinity. There's no, it doesn't know how far it is. It's just really far away as all the system knows. So it goes back to um, white hot mode in the IR mode and it's just, I mean, it's a heat source. You see a heat source and there's no telling what it is. So, um, I mean, there's not a whole lot of data here. I mean, this really could be anything. And then it just, he loses track. So, doesn't look all that, I mean, there's nothing all that special about it. All right, let's look at the last one. Um, two degrees down, 54 degrees off to the left. There's an IR, um, 25,000 feet. They're doing 0.58 Mach. I mean, they're not obviously doing anything really all that tactical. Dude, this is a fucking dry on, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. So he says there's a whole fleet of them. This guy says it's a drone. Is there a whole fleet of them? Look at the SA. So um, the SA page being the, uh, it's one of the other pages available on the, uh, the Hornet. So uh, basically they are seeing other contacts out there as, as well as this one. So he's, he's not, they're tracking this one, but they're saying, you know, the, the sensors are seeing more than just this one. Oh my gosh. Going against the wind, and the winds are hundred and twenty knots from the west. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't really matter. But the way they're tracking it, it's it's moving a, a, around. Uh, so they start at fifty-five. They're going to thirty degrees. Hey, I think, dude. And they're in a bank also. So they're in a bank, kind of converging as it's going this way to, to in, in kind of a lag pursuit to get behind it. That's not around us though, is it? It's not around us, dude. Well, if there's like Look at thing, it's rotating. So, he's talking about it's rotating. I mean, we're in IR mode, so it may not be rotating. Whatever the heat signature is, is rotating. Um, so, and we're almost... Um, I'd have to see the rest here, but I mean, it's your almost tail aspect to it. So it's a hot heat source. I don't, looking back, I don't see anything necessarily. We don't know what any of this is. We don't know what the video is of. They don't know what it is. The Navy may not know what it is, or they may know what it is. I mean, I, I, it could be a classified weapon system that they have decided that release of it you know, seeing this, you're not seeing enough to be able to determine what it is. Um, personal opinions, do I think there's life out there? Probably. I mean, it's a big universe and the idea that, um, you know, we're the only intelligent life forms is a bit of an arrogant assumption. Do I believe we're being visited? No, I don't think. I don't think this is any kind of alien 
craft that's flying around. I think it's an unidentified thing, whether it's another country, whether it's our own country or some uh, new technology, or it could just be an anomaly. I mean, it, it, we don't know what it is, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily some, you know, conspiracy or, um, you know, alien thing or something like that. So uh, I don't think there's enough information to, to say it. I mean, you would think that, you know, if, if we were being visited, you'd have something a little bit more high definition than um, a white hot or black hot in this case. Now he's going to black hot targeting pod video that doesn't really show you anything but a blob on a screen. That's not that good. So just my opinion. Anyway, but the bottom line, as I've said in the, in the beginning, I don't know. No idea. Um, I don't have any knowledge of UFOs. Uh, this has just been asked of me a lot, so I figured we'd address it, but I haven't really, um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of experience with anything unidentified. So that's just the way it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh! I've a lot of this. Usually fly with the doors off. Be a douche. That's rule number one. I can tell you now.